Hey, Daily Dosers. Um, I had the privilege of taking my five-year-old and uh, my three-year-old to Disneyland this past uh, couple weeks ago. And uh, when we got there, you know that you're in for an adventure, uh, simply as a parent, uh, because you get to uh, answer the fun questions of, when are we gonna do this? Or when are we gonna go here? Or when are we gonna do that? And I remember my daughter asking me like, when can we go on this ride? When are we gonna buy cotton candy? When are we gonna do this? When are we gonna do that? And <laughs> it gets exhausting. Right? Because as you try to explain to them that, well, the car's right, it's a three hour wait, I'm sorry. You know, or cotton candy, it's $25, I'm not gonna buy you that because it's this big and you eat it in 30 seconds. Or here's the reason why. And you know, as a parent, they're not gonna get it, they're not gonna understand. And I think sometimes maybe God looks at us and says, ha, Hayden, why are you asking when so much when it comes to your relationship with me or your life? I wanna take a time and I wanna maybe, maybe you've been in that, uh, that season of life with God and maybe I just wanna encourage you. Maybe I just wanna give you a word of, of just, hey, what does it look like for us to wait patiently with God in the midst of a season where I don't have answers, I only have questions. I have a verse for you, it's Psalms chapter 37, verse uh, seven. It says this, it says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Man. Doesn't it stink sometimes to be patient, to wait? Doesn't it stink of when you ask when, you don't hear anything? You see, when I took my daughter to Disneyland, she didn't understand the things that I saw. She didn't understand the way that a parent thinks or how a parent acts or why I'm doing the things that I'm doing ultimately for her protection or for her to provide her the best experience at Disneyland. I think what this verse is trying to encourage us to do is instead of asking when, we can see a God who knows what's best for his kids. That when we're waiting, uh, when am I gonna get this promotion? He says, I know what tomorrow brings. I know what your future holds when it comes to your job, your career. And when we're asking, when is this relationship gonna get restored? He's like, trust me, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm going to work in you. I'm going to work in this relationship. Just be patient. He says, be still before the way and wait patiently for him. How can I wait for this sickness, God? How can I wait for this sickness to be healed or to be restored? And God's like, I care for you. And because I care for you, I know that my thoughts are different than your thoughts. I know that my ways are different than your ways. And I just wanna take a time to encourage you, instead of asking when, God, can you just say, how, God? How can I trust you with my job right now? How can I trust you in my relationships right now? How can I trust you with this sickness right now? Because I think when we ask that question, we ultimately take the reliance and the answers that we're supposed to provide for ourselves, and we say, God, you take care of it. Because guess what? God's answers are always better than our answers. I hope you guys have a great day and you're encouraged by this. We'll see you next time.